Hello, Happy New Year and welcome to the fourth ExoColony devlog. My name is Pascal and today I'm going to show you how I put cute animals into my game. And I also implemented something that was really missing until now. Sound effects. As always, if you enjoy this video, please consider to subscribe and hit that like button. You can also join my Discord server or follow me on Twitter and Instagram, all links are in the description. Now, let's jump right into the devlog. So, after I finished my Secret Santa Jam game and video, I went straight back to ExoColony and I was really hyped to implement some new features. There are some bigger code refactoring tasks piling up and I'm working on them, but this will not stop me from implementing and showing you new things. For this devlog I wanted to add more life to the game, so I thought the best idea would be to just do exactly that and put animals into the game. So I jumped right into Ace Bright and started pixeling a green alien cow, since ExoColony is still a science fiction slash space exploring farming game. After I was happy with my first draft I created the necessary animations for idling and running around and put them into Unity. Then I created an animal controller class and implemented some basic functionality for the cows to just run around the world and look cute while doing that. I used the debug view I created for the last devlog to make sure that everything is working correctly and everything looks fine. The next step was to make the player able to pet the cows and make the cows able to drop some milk items. But then I felt the urgent need to take care of another system that was very important for the overall game feel. Sound effects. So I squeezed that in before I continued working on my cute alien cows. For the sound effect system I went back to an old top-down action game prototype I created before I started working on ExoColony. It already had a sound system implemented which worked with scriptable objects, events and poolable sound effect prefabs. So I just stole from myself and put that code into ExoColony. I also had to think about the kind of sound effects I wanted to put into the game. Since the game has a pixel art style some 8-bit sound effects would be the obvious choice but I wanted to try to add some kind of realistic sounds, like for example in Stardew Valley. So I went to freesound.org and looked for some sound samples with Creative Commons License Zero to start. I want to create my own sounds later in development, but for now these should do the trick. After I found some step sounds and I edited them in Audacity, I created a scriptable object for the sound effect in Unity, which I would then feed into the sound manager via an event. The scriptable object is quite cool because I can add a list of clips from which the sound manager then picks one randomly and I can also add random volume variations. Then I had to implement some animation event code for the player and after that I was ready to let my game make it first sounds. Let's have a listen. Awesome! I like the style of the realistic sound effects, so I implemented some more. The sound effect for the conveyor drone gave me some problems, because I guess I have to make sure that not more than one of them is playing at the same time or they sound like a machine gun. But the sounds for tree chopping and mining stones are quite awesome and add a lot of game juice in my opinion. After I was happy with my sounds I wanted to make the animals more interactable. So I started to pixel a milk item that the cows could drop after the player petted them enough and raised the love value to a certain threshold. I also want the player to be able to feed the animals food to achieve that, but that's a feature for another time. When the first milk sprite was somewhat ready I put it in the game to check how it looks in context and I came to the conclusion that it is way too big. So I pixeled some smaller sprite variations and checked how they look. I then decided to go with the medium size variation. Now I had to program the code to make the cows petable and gave them an internal love value which would increase every time the player interacts with the animal. After a certain threshold is reached, the cow should then drop an item if there is a free space around it and decrease the love value by 1. Of course the first implementation was not bug free and the cow spawned the item on itself, which prevented the item to register on the grid. But that was an easy fix and after that I could just fill the cows up with love and they would give me some juicy alien milk. <coughs> Anyways, to round off this development cycle I added one last thing to the cows. A somewhat weird mooing sound. And that's already it for today's devlog. I now plan to release a new devlog every two weeks on Monday, so I hope that we will see each other again really soon and until then Please subscribe to this channel, hit the like button and consider to join the Discord server. Bye!